Hi guys, it's me, Teacher Gon. In our today's video, we will talk about solving percent problems. So if you're new to my channel, don't forget to like and subscribe at hit na rin yung bell button for you to be updated sa ating mga future uploads. Again, I'm Teacher Gon. Let's do this topic. Now, if you're studying about percent problems, one of the focus of this one is about discount problems. And these are the terminologies you need to be familiarized when you are solving discount problems. Let's start with discount. The word discount, it is a decrease in the price of an item. It refers to the amount to be deducted from the original price. So, in other words, parang ito yung mababawas sa original price. Next, we have the second word which is the original price that is re represented by letter O and P. Original price is the regular price charge of the item. So, given that word, it is obviously the original price. Next, we also have the words discount rate or DR. Discount rate is the percent taken off from the original price. Last one, we have the sale price or the selling price. SP is the net price or discounted price. So in the next part of our video, we will be talking about the problems and how to solve it. So throughout this video, I will give you two examples for us to solve percent problems. And again, the focus of this one are discount problems. So here's the given in item number one. A red dress priced at 400 pesos is marked 50% off. How much is a discount? So the key here is that you all only need to know what is missing or what is asked in this kind of problem. We're asked for the discount. So when you're trying to find the discount, the formula there is simply discount that is equal to the original price times your discount rate. Or for us to solve this easier, we need to represent those words. The discount should be represented by letter D and your original price must be represented by OP times your discount rate, which is DR. In the given problem, your OP or original price is simply equal to 450 pesos, while your discount rate, DR, is equivalent to 15%. And remember, if you have DR to be used in the given formula, you need to convert this into decimal and this one is equivalent to 0 0.15 since we're ready with the original price and dr all we need to do is to substitute those values to the given formula we have d is equal to op times dr so that will be d is equal to your original price which is 450 times your discount rate in decimal form which is 0 0.15 and remember you need to multiply these numbers and decimals so we have here another part of our solution wherein we will multiply 450 by 0 0.15 so let's multiply these numbers and decimal so you have 5 times 0 that will give you 0 5 times 5 is 25 that is 5 and then carry 2 you have 5 times 4, that will give you 20, plus 2, that is 22. Next, 1 times 0, that is 0. 1 times 5, that is 5. And 1 times 4 is 4. Then all you need to do is to add them. You have 0, 5. So you have 2 plus 5, that will give you 7. And then 2 plus 4, that is 6. Now, the final answer here is that you need to count the number of decimals. This is 1 and 2. All you need to do is count 1 and 2. So there you have it. The answer here is simply 
67.50. Therefore, the discount or the answer in this given problem, discount or D is simply equal to 67.50 pesos. That's it for item number one. Now for item number two, we are given a problem. A wristwatch that regularly sells at 2450 is on sale at 30% off. What is the sale price? So in this kind of problem, I'll be showing you two different ways on how to solve it. In the first one is yung using the original formula, which is your selling price, SP, is equal to your original price minus the discount. So before we start using this formula, we need to find first your discount. So discount is equal to the original price times your discount rate. In this problem, your original price is equal to 2,450 pesos. And then your discount rate, which is 30%, you need to convert that into decimal that is equal to times 0 0.30 or 0 0.3. So to find the discount, you need to multiply 2,450 by 0 0.3. So that will be 3 times 0, that is 0. 3 times 5, that will give you 5. Ah, sorry, 15, carry 1. And then 3 times 4, that is 12 plus 1, that will give you 13, carry 1. And 2 times 3, that is... 6 plus 1, that will give you 7. So, since we have here one decimal place, you need to move here one decimal place also, meaning the discount is simply equal to 735 pesos. This is her discount. And remember, we're not yet done because we are asked for the selling price or sale price. Using this formula, SP is equal to OP minus your discount. So your SP is equal to your OP, which is 2,450 minus 735. And 2,450 minus 735 goes like this. You have here 4, that is 5, 4 minus 3, that is 1, and then in the point the end, so you need to borrow 1. 14 minus 7, that is 7, so you have 1,000. Your selling price here is 1,715. Pesos. This is the correct answer for item number 2. So I hope na sa ating first solution, you already know how to compute for the selling price or the sale price. But as I have mentioned, I will show you two different solutions on how to do this. Okay, so listen carefully. So for the next part of our solution, here's my solution. For the selling price, I will be using the formula selling price is equal to the original price times the selling price rate, SPR. So, what I'm going to do is to find first the SPR. For the SPR, I will be doing is that diba? for the whole price that is represented by 100%, and then your selling your discount rate is 30. So, this will become minus. 30%. Therefore, my SPR is simply 70%. So now, after finding the selling price percent, a selling price rate, I will be using this formula. So on selling price natin, for the selling price, that is equal to your original price, which is 2,450 times your SPR or selling price rate 
which is 70%, and can be converted as 0.7. So all you need to do is to multiply those numbers. So you have 2,450 times 0 0.7. And by multiplying it, it will give you 0. And then 7 times 5, it will give you 35. 5 carry 3. And then 7 times 4, that will give you 28. Plus 3, that is 31. So 1 and carry 3. So 7 times 2, that is 14. Plus 3, that will give you 17. So for the final answer of this multiplication process, all you need to do is to count the number of decimal places. 1, so you need to count 1. Therefore, the answer is 17, 1,715. Ibig sabihin niyan, ang selling price natin is equivalent to 1,715 pesos. As you can see, the answers are equal, though different yung process natin. Again, I hope na natuto kayo sa ating two examples on how to compute percent problems. So I hope na makonsider nyo mag-subscribe if you're new to my channel and don't forget to click the bell button for you to be updated sa ating mga future uploads. Again, I am Teacher Gon. Maraming maraming salamat. Bye-bye! Now, if you're new to my channel, don't forget to subscribe, hit the subscribe button, at i-hit mo na rin yung bell button para updated ka sa ating mga future uploads. Again, I am Teacher Gon. Maraming maraming salamat. Bye-bye!